seventh in the Olympics, fourth in the Olympics four years before that. The Russian is in five. This is Milet Tuta, the Olympic champion, the European record holder. 104.52, one lane closer to us, Efimova, 105.24 from an earlier heat. She's the world champion in the 50, Efimova, the European champion in the 50, the Olympic silver medalist in the 200. Coming here to lock horns with Myla Tuta on the 100. Very quick off the block, Myla Tuta, she's terrifically athletic. And she's taken, what, half a body length, a quarter of a body length off the rest of the field, just on the start and the underwater. Good start from the Australian in the yellow hat over there and do Sally Foster. But now Epimova hunting down the young pretender for the world title. And this is something that Myla Tutti loves, as she loves to race, as does Epimova. Epimova changing her stroke on the different distances, but it's Myla Tutti winning the battle to the 50, 29.97. And getting a better turn, too. And she generates such speed from the stroke. It's a much more classic-looking breaststroke than the faster turnover of Efimova. And for me, Efimova is turning over far too quickly. She's only got half a kick at the back. It's all in the arms on this 100 for Efimova. Efimova trying to make inroads. A quick look from Myla Tuta. She's on world record pace. She's got the world record at her fingertips. The magic marker, 104.45 from the Lithuanian. In the final stroke, she just glides in with 104.35. She takes down the world record. The first world record here in Barcelona. And what a way to do it. She's just gone from strength to strength after winning in London last year. And a couple of weeks ago, she won the European Juniors. Raced there to gold, came here. Went 104 in the heats, and now 104.35 for the long course world record to add. And we're only at the semi-finals. She's still the title to win. Right, you bet Ethimova is going to come at her. You bet Jess Hardy is going to have a go. If she can get it, if Hardy can put it all together, she'll be a formidable competitor. If Ethimova can just lengthen her stroke a little bit up the first 50, maybe Milo Tutu is going to go faster yet. Well, they need to go close to that world record just to be able to live with her. Fabulous start, electric reactions, very strong, holds the rhythm, and it's 75, held the pace, held the tempo, and drove into that pad. She just doesn't slow down, does she? She goes quickly and she holds on, and that's the difference. That's the difference between the 104.3 and the 105.2, because Efimova was coming back at 75, but just couldn't come any further. Fabulous swim. And it's really nice that the crowd would recognise that quality swim, the world record. She now knows better how to handle it. Remember, breaking down at the Olympics, as you might expect. But again, that little early movement, but it's from the signal. Otherwise, the starter would pick it up or the referee would pick it up. She's just so much faster. The amazing thing, really, is how she, how much speed she generates from what is not the highest turnover stroke. Now, just watch the finish here because it's a fairly long glide in. We're not at the finish yet. This is the margin. This is Efimova coming back on her a little bit, but she can't get to the leader. Now, watch this. She's looking at the wall. It's a long glide. It is, it's a long glide and starting to slow down, but slowing down to a world record. There it is, the last stroke. And a little pick up of the hands there. <laughs> bashing the water, bashing it. We've done it.